If you've not used Blender before, here's a little project to get you started just in time for Halloween, a pumpkin. It'll be made from some simple elements and initially textured using what comes with Blender that can later be changed in IMVU Create mode. So let's start. First, take a few moments to familiarize yourself with moving around using the middle mouse button. Click dragging the mouse with the cursor over the 3D view rotates the scene and is the primary means of interacting with the view. Holding the shift key down whilst doing this strafes. Holding control down zooms or magnifies. Left mouse click lets you interact with properties, options and settings. With right mouse letting you select objects and data that's been generated as you work. To make the pumpkin and ensure it's the right size for IMVU, from the File menu, open the Furniture Starter file. This contains all the basic elements needed as well as being a scale reference. Once open, leave everything in place and add a sphere object. Using the Tool Shelf, left click the Create tab, then Sphere. Using the Header menu, left click Add, Mesh, UV Sphere. A primitive shape will be placed in the 3D view at the cursor's location, and some properties will appear in the lower section of the tool shelf. These can be changed to alter the initial appearance of the sphere. Left click the Segments input field and type 16. Left click the Rings input field and type 6. Finally, enable Generate UVs by left clicking the checkbox. If the sphere isn't visible once it's been added, it's likely inside the default cube. To expose it, right click the cube and from the object menu select Show Hide, Hide Selected. Before changing the shape of the object, right click to select it, then left click the Material Properties button, then left click New, left click the ID field to change the name of the new assignment, for example Pumpkin, Space, open bracket, zero, closed bracket. Change the material's diffuse color, left clicking the color sample field, left clicking the color wheel that appears, and then move the mouse away from the dialog to confirm. Next, left click the texture properties button and again left click new. Another set of options will appear. Here, left click the texture ID field and rename. The numerical append not being necessary here, this can simply be pumpkin. Make sure type is set to image or movie, then scroll down to the image subsection and click new. In the pop-up that appears, set a name, pumpkin, change width and height to 256, set generated type to UV grid, then left click OK to complete creating a temporary image that can be assigned to the mesh. To do this, make sure the sphere is selected, right click, and switch to edit mode using the interaction mode selector. From the 3D view select menu, left click deselect all, then once again to reselect everything. Swap the 3D view for the UV slash image editor, left clicking the editor select tab and choosing UV image editor from the list. The selection just made will be shown in the workspace. Here, left click the browse image to be linked button and select the previously created image from the list. This assigns the image to the object selected UVs or faces. Switch back to the 3D view, left click the editor selector and choose 3D view. And check the views display mode is set to texture, so the sphere appears textured with the assigned image. With this done, the material setup and image assigned, the mesh can now be edited and shaped. If edit mode is not still active from assigning an image to the UVs, switch modes using the mode selector. Manipulate the scene so the top of the sphere is accessible and right click the vertex point where all the triangular faces meet. If the dot is not visible, check vertex select mode is active, left clicking the vertex select button in the header. The 3D manipulator widget appears at the selection. Left click and drag the blue handle down a short distance to create a divot or indentation. Release left click to confirm. 
With the top vertex still selected, hold Shift and right click every other vertex in the first loop down from the top. And again, left click drag the blue handle down. Create a wavy or sawtooth pattern between the edited and unaltered vertices of the loop. Finally, make another selection following the pattern of the indentations around the top by right clicking a vertex from the waist or middle loop of vertices and add one above and one below, holding down shift to include them in the selection. This should result in several partial selections around the sphere. With the selection made and the mouse still over the 3D view, press the S key and move the mouse inwards, evenly scaling a set of indentations. Left click to confirm. Exit edit mode into object mode, and with the sphere still selected, left click the smooth button in the tools panel of the tool shelf on the left. This changes the appearance of the object, making it appear smooth instead of faceted. Before continuing, save the file. From the file menu, save as, left click the input field to rename the file, and save. Next, the stalk. To add the stalk, in the create panel of the tool shelf, left click the cube button, or select cube from the add menu under mesh. When the object appears in the add cube properties, left click the generate UVs checkbox. Once in place, right click to select, then shift right click the sphere. From the 3D view object menu, left click snap, then selection to active. The cube will snap to the pumpkin. Rescale the cube down to a size that represents the stalk by right clicking the cube, pressing the S key, and moving the mouse towards the object, reducing its size. Left click to confirm. If the cube disappears inside the pumpkin, complete the action and left click drag the widget's blue handle upwards to reveal the cube and set its position at the base of the indentation atop the sphere. Press S and make any adjustments now the stalk is visible. Left click to confirm any changes. With the cube still selected, switch to edit mode using the mode selector and right click the top face of the mesh. Switch to the Rotate Manipulator, left-clicking the Manipulator button in the 3D view header, and using the coloured loops, left-click drag them selectively, tilt the face, release left mouse button to confirm each manipulation, then switch back to the Translate widget. Exit Edit Mode into Object Mode, using the Mode Selector, then left-click the Material Properties button. As with the Pumpkin, left-click the New button, then the Material ID field once the panel populates to rename the new material, e.g. Stalk. Press Enter to confirm. Left click the Color Sample area to set a color for the material. Move the mouse to one side to confirm, then left click the Texture Properties button. Left click New to populate the panel. Make sure the texture type is set to Image or Movie. Then left click the ID field to rename, e.g. Stalk. Press Enter to confirm. Scroll down to the Image subsection, and here click New. In the pop-up that appears, left-click each input field, set a name, e.g. Stalk, both Width and Height to 128, Generated Type to UV Grid, then left-click OK to complete, placing an image within the material that can now be assigned to the mesh. To do this, make sure the stalk is selected, right-click, then switch to Edit Mode using the Mode Selector. From the Select menu, deselect any active selections, then again to Select All. Using the Editor Type Selector, swap the 3D view for the UV slash Image Editor, left-clicking that option from the list. The Mesh Selected UVs will be shown in the Workspace. Here, left-click the Browse Image to be Linked button, and left-click the Stalk image just created it will appear under the UVs. Use the Editor Type list to switch back to the 3D view where the stalk will now appear with image assigned. Exit Edit Mode, create a restore point, saving the file. And left click File, Save As. In the File Browser, left click the file name, add an incremental reference to the current name, then click Save As to complete. 
Before preparing for IMV use and export to FBX, the image assigned to the pumpkin and stalk materials need to be saved and converted into usable images. This is done in the UV image editor. As the stalk is already selected, switch to edit mode and right click a face. While still in this mode, select the UV image editor from the editor type list. The selected face and associated image will be displayed in the workspace. Here, left click the image menu, then save as image. In the browser, left click the file name field and type stalk or similar. Then in save as properties lower left, set an image type, preferably BMP, TGA or other lossless format, then left click save as image top right, completing the process. Switch back to the 3D view and repeat for the pumpkin. Exit edit mode for the stalk, then right click and enter edit mode for the pumpkin. Right click any face to highlight, then swap the 3D view for the UV image editor, selecting that option from the editor type list. The image associated with the selected face will be shown. Left click the image menu option and select save as image. In the browser that appears, left click and type a file name as needed then set the image format, left click selecting BMP, TGA, etc. from the format list. Finally, left click save as image top right. Once that's done, left click the editor type button and return back to the 3D view selecting that option from the list. Then left click the mode selector and exit edit mode ready for the next step. To turn the pumpkin into a furniture item, right click the stalk then holding down the shift key, right click the pumpkin to include it in the same group selection. Left click the object menu in the 3D view and select join, connecting the two meshes together into a single unit. Next, left click the object data properties button and in the vertex groups subsection, left click the plus button to the right of the preview aperture. Group will appear. Double left click this to highlight for editing type root, uppercase R, then press enter to confirm. In the 3D view, switch to edit mode left clicking the mode selector, then from the select menu, left click deselect all, once to clear current selections, then once again to select everything. With this done, in the vertex groups section, left click the assign button to apply the group to the mesh selection. Check assignment left clicking the select and deselect buttons. Exit edit mode into object mode. To turn the pumpkin into a functional item for IMVU, it now needs to be linked to a root node before export. Manipulate the scene so the mesh and wireframe cube can be seen, then right click the pumpkin, hold down the shift key, then right click the wireframe cube to include it in the group selection. Left click the object menu and left click the following options. Parent, object, then object keep transform in the pop-up menu that appears. This associates the mesh with a node, which now means they can both be exported. Before doing so, to add a seat node, right click the pumpkin and adjust its size so the avatar sits on it properly and it's aligned correctly with the ground plane. Right click the mesh, then left click the scale, rotate and translate widgets in turn to scale, rotate and move the mesh by left click dragging their respective coloured loops or indicators, releasing left click to confirm after each action. Once the pumpkin has been positioned, right click the large seat node directly under the seated dummy and left click dragging the directional handles of the translate widget, position the seat group relative to the mesh. Make adjustments to the pumpkin if needed using scale, rotate and translate to finalize its size and position. Then right click in turn each node of the seat group and shift right click the root node before left clicking the object menu and selecting parent, object, object keep transform in the parent menu pop up. So that's right click catcher 01, shift right click root, then parent. Right click picture 01, shift right click root and parent. Right click seat 01, shift right click root, parent. And right click handle 01, shift right click root and parent. 
Linking the nodes in this way so the root node sits at the top of the furniture hierarchy ensures the item can be used properly in rooms. Once the objects are all linked up, they can be exported to FBX. So right click the mesh, then hold down Shift to right click and add Catcher 01, Picture 01, Seat 01, Handle 01, and Root to the group selection. Left click the File menu and left click Export, then FBX. In the file browser that appears, left click to highlight and type a file name where needed. Then in FBX Export Properties lower left, left click Selected Objects under Main, left click Geometries and leave Apply Modifiers enabled. Click Armature, Deselect Add Leaf Bones, leave Animations untouched, then left click the Export FBX button top right. With an FBX file now available, it can be imported into IVU. Log into the desktop client and activate Create Mode. Click Derive New Product and select a standard furniture item from the defaults. Click Go. In the editor that opens, click the FBX Import tab, then the Load FBX button. In the File Browser, select the FBX just exported, then click the Open button to load the file into the importer. Here, highlight Apply Scale and type 0.0 warning in the text box. Change the mesh ID, typing 0 into that text field, then click Import. Click the Import Changes button in Import Status, then click Apply Changes, updating the project and completing the import process. But if textures need to be changed, click the Meshes tab, and for each image that needs to be replaced, click the Edit button associated with that material. Browse to, select and open into the slot, then click Apply Changes to update. Once done, click Save to save the file, or the black arrow to manually save as. Type a file name in the dialog box and save. Then once done, click the Upload button to start the submission process. In the Product Submission dialog that appears, provide the product information, a name, a rating, a price, product icon, a 100 by 80 pixel image, whether the item is derivable, is for display or invisible, then click Submit. This opens a product page where the item needs to be published to complete the submission process, after which the product will be available for sale, purchase and use. Congratulations, you've made your first mesh.